Virgo, welcome to your reading for the month of June. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. Better than well. I hope you're doing amazing. Let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light. We thank you for your help today with Virgo's reading. For whatever they need to know for the month of June, for the highest good, please. Thank you. Let's see what's going on. We'll pull some clarifiers. We'll pull some advice. We'll get an oracle message at the end. What's going on for Virgo? Starting out with the Queen of Swords. Followed by the Nine of Swords. And the Knight of Pentacles. The overall energy for your reading for the month of June. Virgo is the King of Pentacles. And the reason that brought us here to this particular reading, whoever this, whichever Virgos this is for, the Knight of Wands, in a hurry to take some action, just want to feel good, want to play, want to have some fun, and yeah, just feel really good. The, uh, the King of Pentacles in your overall energy is the master manager of things. Queen of Swords to the Nine of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles. It looks like you're stressed out about <sighs> declaring what it is exactly that you want. Setting your rules, your boundaries, your limitations. It's stressing you out and slowing things down even though you'd like to just hurry up and get there, Knight of Wands. Um, you need to call in the expert to figure out how to manage this situation. It really is the most important thing here is declaring and setting your rules and boundaries because you don't want the stress and anxieties that you've had from past experiences. So you want to be very, very clear. But again, this has you up in your head and worried for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify this King of Pentacles in the overall energy, the master manager of all the things. Referring to the expert, expert advice, expert energy, calling it in, doing the research, whatever it takes. How do I manage this? Show us the King of Pentacles spirit. What does Virgo need to know, please? There it is, starting out. Oh, it's a little bit of a headache here with the Five of Swords. You feel like you're going to have to make some sacrifices. You're not looking forward to it in order to close out an old cycle so that you can begin a new one that feels good. Yeah, and a new opportunity for love and joy and happiness here. Yeah, you just want to be clear about it, no doubt. The reason for this part of the lineup yeah, the Emperor, you're strategizing, managing, managing this situation. How do I do it? What are the sacrifices I need to make? Maybe it just makes me uncomfortable to set the rules and the boundaries. More so than I've ever done before. Putting it first on the list of the strategy that's necessary when you explore this new opportunity for love in your life. You just want to be clear, but you're stressed about it, for sure. Yeah, all right, let's look at what the queen has to say. What say you, queen? What does Virgo need to know? What, what are these rules, boundaries, limitations, requirements, declarations? What say you, queen? There. Yeah. Because you want the ultimate joy and happiness and ease and success for this situation you say this is really important to me this is this is about my ultimate happiness so I'm not messing around knight of cups the messenger of love and really any emotional messages it's about expressing ourselves yeah that's exactly what you're trying to do here with the queen you're making a declaration about your happiness and what you want and how you view uh, new love as successful what it means to you emotionally and even practically okay 
and the devil. You know what? You want to cover all bases. You, this is where you set your limitations. You say, hey, you know what? When it comes to unhealthy behaviors, the, I am setting boundaries. Um, I do not allow X, Y, and Z, and that is the fact of the matter. Around all of these subjects, your communication is extremely important and you want to make that clear to your person, whoever that is. I don't know if they're here yet or you're just thinking about this at this time. Uh, but yeah, let's look at the bottom. Yeah, you're just gaining perspective on exactly what you want so that you can communicate it. What's important to you and what you do. It's like, uh, this is saying this is what I want and this is what I don't want. What I want, what I don't want. What I want, what I don't want. And keep the communication open between both of us. I cannot be the only one that is an expert communicator here. You, King of uh, Knight of Cups, uh, must also come with the skills of communication. Very good. Excellent boundaries. You are gaining perspective. Now let's look at this Nine of Swords. For the month of June for Virgo, what is this stress about? Why so worried? It looks like you have a very good game plan. What is this headache about? This person has their head in their hands and this person has their head in their hands. It's a pain. What's going on here? Is it just fear? Is it your own fear? Is there something legitimate to worry about here? Oh, look at that. The Knight of Swords flew out in reverse. Uh, in the upright, this is about, you know, rushing rushing to take some sort of action. This is uh, delaying that, maybe slowing things down a bit. Looks like it slows down a whole lot over here with the Knight of Pentacles coming up next. Let's see what else comes out with that Knight of Swords in reverse. Contemplating the future, slowing it down. It has you worried, it has you stressed. Let's not rush in so fast is the energy that is surrounding you. Maybe that's what's stressing you out. Maybe this it's this other person contemplating the future, not rushing, and it has you stressed. Are you in a hurry, Virgo? Look at that. Endings and transformations. Death and rebirth. Needing to change things around a little bit when it comes to how we do things here how we go into it, how we contemplate the future. Let's let's transform it into what we want it to be, but you're worried. At the bottom, the nine of pentacles. This is a, a level of confidence, um, but it's also the card of independence. Are you worried that if you don't hurry up through through your contemplation of your future, if you don't hurry up and take action, that you might remain single here? Is that what you're worried about? I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's take a look at that Knight of Pentacles when things slow down so much that they feel like they're halted. What is going on with this Knight of Pentacles, please? What does Virgo need to know for the month of June? Why the slow down? Ace of Wands, the High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, your intuition says the biggest and boldest action here is one of self-care, self-nurturing, putting yourself first, your own needs first, listening to your intuition about your own self-care. Um, it's a bold action. It's kind of new for you to slow things down because you feel like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. There's something I don't like over here, and now I just want to stop for a minute and figure out what I need. The underlying Six of Pentacles. To get everyone on the same page. We want to get everyone on the same page, so we need to slow it down and you gotta figure things out. What do I need? And then you can communicate it once you figure it out. But listening to your intuition and putting yourself first, that is the best thing to do no matter what. 
when you're not feeling right about how something's going, when you're worried and you're stressed out about the future, expressing what you want and what you don't want, and then it's almost like you express it and then someone kind of backs off maybe with that Knight of Swords in reverse. Maybe they pull back as they contemplate the future. Maybe then there's a possibility of an ending and it transforms. And then you're like, well, if that's how you feel about it, fine. Because I know what I need. I need to take care of myself. And if you're not on board with that, if you're not on board with what I want, the good stuff and not the bad stuff after I make my declaration, then we do need to slow things down and stop and make sure we're on the same page. That's what you're doing. Good deal. Excellent. Let's look at what brought us here anyway. Even though this is the past, we're going to go ahead and look at that Knight of Wands. What brought us to this reading? This I just want to have fun. I just want to feel good. It's not necessary, but, you know, it's just fun to clarify. Let's do it. Let's see what comes up. I just want to feel good. I want to play. I want life to be interesting and passionate again. And I want to feel excited and all the good things just want to have fun show us that knight of wands knight of wands in a hurry to feel good oh look we have this hit the table first we just saw it underlying knight of wands hmm followed by oh the eight of pentacles but in reverse Because being single is not working. That's what it is. I want to rush in and play and have fun and feel the passion. Because I don't like the being single thing. It's not working for me. <laughs> That's what that says. Yeah. My heart is wide open to love. Queen of Cups. That's right. And the singlehood is going against that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We see what you want. But after you express what you want to your person if they do that if they turn around and run the other direction knight of swords well then they're not for you and the reason for that little lineup up there two of swords we're up in our heads about it we're up in our heads about it overthinking things as as we do sometimes overthinking things all right well i don't know looks like you have some good thoughts to me if they're not on board with what you need, then you need to put yourself first and halt the situation. Absolutely. All right. Let's take a look at a message from the Enchanted Map Spirit for Virgo going through this scenario for the month of June. What message do you have for them from the Enchanted Map? Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Hit like, subscribe, comment. We're building the channel. We're getting ready to do live readings as soon as possible. So your support is much appreciated. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to take this one, hit the table first. And it's education. Card number 35. Let's see what's coming up for you. It may not be related to the rest of your message. It's just a message that Spirit wants you to have. Let's see what it says. Life is filled with lessons. <clears throat> be teachable. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take, your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school, ask a person who might know more than you do, or find a teacher or a course of study so that you can move more clearly, understand, understanding what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school and you must learn by experience. Now is the time to be teachable, open to changing your preconceived notions. Be a student and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet. And that's in quotes as the mantra. I don't know yet. Very nice. All right. 
Very good. Thank you so much, guys. I hope it was helpful, and I look forward to reading for you next time. Take care.